Hello kids, let us understand the applications of heating effect of the current and also the safety measures against its undesirable outcomes. Now we know that the electric current flow causes heating effect in the circuit. If the current and also the heat increase due to the overloading or short circuit etc. It may damage some part of the circuit like the wires and even appliances like TV, fan etc. This may even lead to fire. So we need to avoid this kind of electrical hazard which can cause great trouble and loss for us. This means when the circuit is getting too hot leading to hazards we must stop the electricity flow. But we can't do it ourselves every time. Then who does it or who should do it? In our previous class we saw that the bulb wasn't glowing because the circuit was broken as the filament was burnt due to overheating. So we can take a simple idea from that. If we break the circuit the current wouldn't flow through the broken or the open circuit. But we cannot turn all the switches off or we cannot cut the wires quick enough to break the circuits in time. This is because overloading or short circuit can happen in a split second and thus we won't get enough time to act. Hey, what if a small part of circuit gets damaged automatically just like the filament in the bulb and breaks the circuit? This way the flow of excessive current shall be automatically stopped as the circuit would be broken and thus the damage to the circuit and its element can be prevented. It can be a small piece of wire which can be a part of the circuit and we can replace it once it gets burnt, saving other parts of the circuits. We got it. So, we shall insert a small piece of wire in the circuit. This wire is weaker, that is, its tolerance limit for the current is lower than the other parts of the circuit. Hence, it gets damaged and stops the electric flow of current before other parts of the circuit gets damaged. Look, here the bulb didn't get damaged due to the excessive current. Just the small wire with less tolerance got burnt. The bulb is intact. But again, this method won't be correct to implement as it wouldn't be easy to add or replace this wire in the circuit, correct? We have a better way to implement this. An electric fuse is made for this purpose only. An electric fuse is a piece of wire which melts and thus breaks the circuit when the current flow is increased suddenly, saving the other parts of the circuit and our valuable appliances. This wire is kept inside a cover made of plastic or other non-conductive materials and is easily replaceable like a bulb. At homes or even in the other buildings, you might have seen these fuses inserted in all the electrical circuits. You know, there is a maximum limit on the current which can safely flow through a circuit. If, by accident, the current exceeds the safe limit, the wires may become overheated and may cause fire. But if a proper fuse is there in the circuit, it will blow off and break the circuit. An electric fuse is thus a safety device which prevents damages to the electrical circuits and even fires. But once burnt, the fuse needs to be replaced with another one. It's a good solution, but do we have a better solution? Nowadays, there is a better solution. MCB or Miniature Circuit Breaker. The MCB works like an automatic switch. The MCB breaks the circuit and stops the current flow when the circuit is overloaded, just like a fuse. As we saw, 
the wire in an electric fuse gets burnt while saving the circuit but the MCB is made on a concept of an automatic switch. The MCB is like an automatic switch which gets turned off by itself when the current in the circuit increases abnormally. So we just need to turn on the switch to restart the current flow once the danger is gone. We don't need to replace it every time like a fuse. We know due to the heating effect of the electric current, the wire gets hot when an electric current passes through it. Can we make use of this property or is it just useless or at times even hazardous to us? Let us look at some of the appliances used at home. How does the room heater or the electric heater used for cooking work? Even the iron box which is used for ironing our clothes. You know all these appliances which are made to produce heat like heater, toaster etc run on the heating effect of electricity. Let us see how the heating effect of electric current is used in these appliances. All these appliances contain a coil of wire. This coil of wire is called an element. For example, after the heater is switched on, its element becomes red hot giving out heat. Not all elements produce the same amount of heat. The amount of heat produced in a wire depends on many things such as its material, length and even thickness. Thus, for different requirements, the wires of different materials, different lengths and thicknesses are used. So we see, the heating effect of current is also useful to us in many ways. To sum up, the heating effect of current can lead to hazards like burnt wires, damaged appliances and even fire due to overloading or short circuiting. But it can be prevented too most of the times. Various safety devices like fuse and MCBs are used to prevent this. The heating effect of current is not always undesirable. We make use of it in the room heaters, heaters used for cooking, iron used for ironing clothes etc. That was all about the heating effect of electric current. Bye bye kids!